The views expressed in this video are solely mine and mine alone. I would like to address Sean Bann and company and his entire federation and those that who have taken it upon themselves to issue challenges to them, those of the EWL who really had no part in in the original challenge of Mike Madness versus Sean Bann. All that was trying to be accomplished was Mike Madness issued a challenge to Sean Bann to come out of retirement for one Iron Man match here at Defiance in April to defend his own honor and for Mike to defend his honor. What ended up ultimately coming down was multiple challenges being issued by Sean Bann's Federation to the EWL Federation which there was no place for that and no no call for it. Also, there was some sexual innuendos by both federations towards the females uh, of both federations and that should not have happened. But I believe that Pan, when he said what he said, was more a lighthearted, in a joking manner. It still should not have been said, but it was. What ensued after that in answer to that from Sean Bann's Federation was completely and totally tasteless. They made sexual references to the outsider, doing multiple sexual disgusting acts against her, and that should never be tolerated. And anyone who follows somebody who condones that or says that, it really says a lot about that person. Secondly, the one gentleman on the video did state and come at me as the landowner and state that I'm too scared to have blood and a light bulb match in my yard. That's not true. I'm not scared of blood. I have a visually impaired daughter who does walk around on my property. And if she was to trip and fall and cut herself on a piece of broken glass, that would be very bad. So, no, there will be no light bulbs and broken glass on my property. Plus, the mercury released when one of those fluorescent light bulbs are broken is bad for the environment. And why do you want to condone destroying our environment any faster than we already are? That just makes no sense. So... You also stated the fact that, you know, because I'm so afraid of blood that you were going to come in front of me and carve a giant letter A in your forehead with a hole around it. So basically what you're saying, dude, is that you want an A in a hole on your head. Okay. That's for you to do, man. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Anyway. I'm going to close with saying this. I am sure that you guys will find some creative way of slamming me back, saying, you know, that I'm fat or that I'm old or, you know, I've got greasy hair. Or I'm, I, I'm sure you guys, you're creative. You'll find some way. I mean, you're very creative, obviously. You can come up with all these different things. So, you know, this is not a challenge for you to come back at me, but I'm, I'm sure you'll you will. I mean, you won't miss this chance. So, just use your best judgment and your best taste. So, thank you very much for your time.